Restaurant hit hard by Hurricane Ian gets hit even harder by a car. This is just another nail in the coffin for Nick B's artisan food on Pine Island. They closed up shop after the storm. People who saw the crash told us the driver accidentally hit the gas instead of the brake in the parking lot. And as you can see, the car went straight through the abandoned restaurant. The night beats Amy Gallo joins us. Amy, any word on how the driver's doing? Remarkably, she drove through one side of this restaurant out through the other without a scratch. And I spoke to other the other uh, nearby business owners and they told me they spoke to her and she seemed OK and very calm and collected. They were shocked about that, but happy to see that she was doing all right. One woman wasn't looking for a drive through, but found one anyways. She was going to get a gift at my shop. Instead, she drove her car through this building here. So it was a lot different day for her. Well, that's certainly one way to put it. We were working here like any normal day when we saw a car coming out of the back of that building. The woman's SUV went in one end straight out the other. I just think she just hit the gas, you know, instead of the brake, which is, I guess, pretty obvious. Nobody I spoke to heard tires squeal, only a big, scary boom. We got very scared. I heard a big crash. And I, didn't, I don't know what that, I thought it sounded like a garbage truck or something. I don't know, but I heard a lot of wood smashing and stuff like that. Thankfully, Matt Lachey and Pine Island Fire District told me the driver wasn't hurt, but as a precaution, they disconnected the vehicle's battery and cut power to the building because some wires were ripped loose. We went to go see what happened, and everyone was okay. In fact, nobody was in the building which used to house Nick B's artisan food. It's been empty since Hurricane Ian. Thank God there was no one in there, or that would have been a lot different. What used to be windows and walls are now just scraps, and the furniture that once was inside lies scattered. As for the driver's gift shopping plans... She came in and looked around afterwards because there were tow trucks. She had a little time on her hands. And she needed to call an Uber, you know. So she looked around. She didn't see anything she wanted to get. I think she was too shook up. But we were going to give her a gift for just fun, you know. <laughs> but she didn't want it. I reached out to the owner of Nick B's Artisan Food, and she told me she never owned this building, only rented it for her restaurant, which has since closed since Hurricane Ian. She does still have a business on the island for chimichurri, a chimichurri factory, but is no longer here. The actual owners of this building have been notified by Matt Lachey and Pine Island Fire about what happened, and they are expected to come and board up the place. Live on the night, Amy Gallo, big news.